number 17. Predict the sign of the entropy change for the following processes and give a reason for your prediction. Okay, so as far as the reasoning, I'm just going to talk it through, but you could write down whatever you need to write down, you know, either on a piece of paper or on your laptop or whatever. But um, I will definitely put the sign, but then we'll just talk through just, you know, then the, the video would be 20 minutes long of me just writing. <laughs> But anyway, let's go for it. We need to find the sign of the entropy change for a given balanced equation. In this case, they give us two C6H14 liquids plus 19 O2 gases, which will give us 14 H2O gas and 12 CO2 gas. Okay. Now, keep in mind, we're trying to find the change in entropy, right? A change is always a delta value, so the triangle. And entropy, which we will see when we start doing the math later down the road, delta S, or I just gave you the answer, <laughs> entropy is always an S value. So anytime that you see a delta S, we're talking about entropy. And remember, this is just talking about the randomness or the disorder, the chaos that's going on in like a system. So coming down here, Solids always have the least entropy values because their molecules are so tightly packed. There's no randomness here. Everything is nice and structured. But then bopping over to a liquid, going over to a gas, the gases are all over the place. So there's much more randomness in those molecules. The molecules are moving more freely than a solid. So as you're going from a solid to a liquid to a gas, your delta S would be positive. You're gaining entropy, gaining randomness. But as you're going backwards, if you're going something from something that's chaotic to something that is very structured, that's a negative entropy, negative delta S, right? Because you're losing entropy values. Now, in a situation like this, when they give you balanced equations, you don't even care about what the compounds are. I don't care that this is C6H14. I don't care that this is O2, H2O, and CO2. The only thing that I care about right now is um, the states. So it seems here that we started off with a liquid plus a gas, and we ended up with all gases. We got more gas and more gas, right? So let's just write that down. I have a liquid plus a gas, and I'm going to gas plus gas. Okay, now always pick the one that has the highest entropy value, right? We're looking for those gases. Now on this side, since I have liquid and a gas, the gas is going to be the higher entropy value. So this is, these are high, right? But over here, I'm also ending with gases as well. So these are high and this is high. But now who wins, right? If I start off with gas and I'm ending with gas, who, who wins? Do I have more entropy or less entropy? Now that comes from the coefficients. This is the only time in which you look at those coefficients. When you basically have the same units, now the numbers come in handy. So in this case, keep in mind, since liquids are lower than gas, I don't care about this. I will just say that I have 19 O2s. So I have 19 O2s on this side, and then I have 14 gases. So here's a 14er coming in here. And then I have 12 CO2s. So I have 12 coming in here. So if I just compile this, I have 19 gases going to basically 14 plus 12. So that's what, 26? That's 26 gases. Am I going to something that is more random or less random? The more gas that you got, the more bouncing all over the place, the more chaos, right? It's kind of like, you know, a gas is kind of like a, a kindergartner, right? And, you, and a teacher has to, you know, have 26 kindergartners. It's gonna be cr crazy, right? Or pre-K or you know, nursery school, whatever it is. But that's the idea, right? If you add more preschoolers, 
It's going to get crazy. So in this case, 19 gases to 26 gases, this side has more gas. So in our situation, that delta S value, the change in entropy, since you're adding more gases, that would definitely be positive. You could also say that the delta S has to be greater than zero. It's the same exact idea. But since they said the sign, uh, we'll go with the positive answer. That's, you know, the better answer. But that's it. There you go. I really hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. And I look forward to helping you out with more questions. And let's keep studying hard. I believe in you guys. Good luck on your tests. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.